Welcome everyone to my final day in Zaruma. Uh, there's really not much to say. We're going to, everybody's getting ready to go to a waterfall soon. Uh, after the waterfall, we're gonna come back and I think we're gonna get a light, nice little night tour of the city. I'm not sure how good the video is gonna be, but I'll make sure to bring my camera along just in case. Uh, I hope we get to see some cool stuff, but honestly, all of our work is pretty much done. At this point, the only thing we're doing is relaxing. Alright guys, so we are just about to uh, leave for the waterfall and we are packed. Like, this bus cannot hold anymore. I'm pretty sure some people have to go on the roof at this point. We just don't have enough room. And this is an hour long ride too, so yeah. This is gonna get a little uncomfortable. Alright guys, so I think we've officially left Saruma, probably. I saw a sign that says Portobello, so I'm just gonna go with it. Uh, and this is what the view looks like um, from the uh, from our bus. Like, look at how close we are to the edge. Like, these roads are insanely narrow, and this is supposed to be for like two cars, I think. Man, and you can hear the brakes on the bus just like screaming. Wow. Uh, this is the kind of stuff you're gonna have to deal with if you ever decide to come to Ecuador, guys. All right guys, so you can feel the temperature changing. Uh, it just like, you, you just felt like a rush of heat like rushing through you and that's how you can pretty much tell that this right here is Portobello. I'm pretty certain about that. Uh, it looks like we're probably gonna pass through Portobello since this is an hour long drive so I highly doubt we're gonna see a waterfall here but this is a pretty nice town. Uh, it's hard to believe that it was once like super mercury contaminated or well maybe not super but like it has mercury contamination but like the buildings are a lot more modern than uh, Zaruma which is pretty interesting. It's probably because the ground is a lot flatter so they can uh, you know have wider streets and uh, taller buildings too without worrying about like rock slides and other things like that. Oh. Alright guys so that's our bus driver uh, over there and we've apparently stopped here for some reason. I assume he's asking for directions or something like that but think about it this way. It's supposed to be an hour long drive and we've already stopped completely so by the time we get there it may be pretty late. We don't know. But uh, it looks like he's coming back now. He probably has the directions and hopefully we're going to uh, continue on our trip to the waterfall wherever it is. Alright guys, now we're going really, really fast down this like, uh, just downhill. I just wanted to point out that even if you're going downhill or uphill, the view in Zaruma is still absolutely beautiful. You can see the mountains right here all over the place. You can see the little towns being built uh, near the river. I think there's a lot of uh, construction material and stuff right here, but essentially we're going pretty quickly down. And oh, I think that might actually be the uh, Portobello sign. Or something. Let's see. Portobello. Yep, yep, there it is. I'm assuming this is the official center of Portobello. I assume that's what the sign means, but uh, it's right here. Uh, looks like they've got little water mills, so I'm guessing there's probably a lot of those, or maybe that's just from their, uh, you know, olden days when the town was built or something like that. Anyway, it looks like we're heading over to this place called uh, uh, Loha, I think. That sounds more Hawaiian, but there it is. That's the beautiful town of uh, Portobello. It's also really, really hot, and uh, I'm not sure uh, the air team would like it because they've had to map out the entire thing, and they were pretty freaking miserable. All right, guys, this is something that I thought was really interesting, but occasionally the, uh, the roads get so dusty, it's almost like fog. You literally can't see like the cars that are coming like right at you. So you have to be an extremely good driver to uh, drive in uh, whatever town we're in right now. All right, guys, so we are in the middle of going through a rickety bridge with like 40 people on a bus. Dang. Wow. I am shocked. I can't believe we made it. Alright guys, we all survived and we have to go back through next time, so let's hope we survive then as well. Alright guys, so right now we are still next to the same river that we crossed. Uh, I just wanted to point out just how beautiful it is to go down some of the uh, dirt roads in Zaruma. Like the trees are just like on either side of us, there's a river, there's mountains, 
there's a, pretty much everything you could expect from like a beautiful view. <laughs> we are really, really getting close to the edge right now. All right, I better start recording because I don't want something bad to happen to my camera. All right, guys, I just wanted to point out a couple of these smaller houses just to uh, uh, emphasize the fact that, yeah, there are people um, living here in these uh, back rows. This is not just a highway up. The, uh, there are people living here, there are houses, and they look pretty nice too. So uh, don't judge just because they're in the middle of nowhere, all right? They've got phone lines, things like that. Uh, I'm sure they're doing just fine. And plus, they've got a way better view than what we have in uh, Georgia. All right, guys, so uh, we went into this little, I'm honestly not sure what it's called, town, maybe small village, I'm thinking. But uh, we went over here and we thought this was the place, but it wasn't, which makes sense. There's not really a mountain or a waterfall. Uh, this looks like more of a construction place, I think. So now it looks like we're doing a little U-turn. We're heading back and we're going to try and find another road, probably. Alright guys, so we went a little too far the first time, but it looks like this is the place that we were supposed to be in. Uh, I'm not really sure where the waterfall is, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out later. Honestly, I'm just happy to be off the bus and uh, on ground. And plus, this place looks pretty cool. It looks super relaxing. I like it. Alright guys, so right now I am on top of a, a small little hill from the uh, place that we, you know, landed. So, you know, there's a bus, but it looks like they've got these little ponds with like fish in them. I'm not really sure, but I wonder if you can go fishing over here. I gotta say, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, look, there's like an outrageous amount of fish. You might even be able to see it in the video. See, look, there's just so much fish in this pond. It's outrageous. Let's see. I'm gonna go check what's in the uh, other pond. They all look like the exact same type of fish, so they probably eat the same thing too. Hope I don't fall in. Oh my gosh, there is there's an insane amount of fish here. Dang, that is absolutely ridiculous. Wow, there is just so much fish here. They probably needed to put a net in there or something to like stop like birds from eating all this stuff because this is just this is insane I mean you can even see it on the camera this this thing looks like orange because of all these fish it looks like they grow some other plants here too like uh, I'm guessing corn and things like that which is useful because they're really uh, they're really close to a river and I think they're really using this river to the best of their abilities this is a really really nice place they've got beautiful mountains a river uh, a pond with like a bunch of fish. They've even got a couple of ducks right over there. Let's see. I'll go try and get a little closer to them so that you guys can get a better view. But uh, yeah, those are definitely ducks. I'm not really sure why he, he keeps them all locked up in a cage. Probably so they don't eat like all the fish or something like that. Alright guys, and here is the cage with all of the ducks. They're really rowdy, and I think the, like they've even uh, ha laid a couple of eggs too. I mean, wow. These guys are pretty rowdy. Alright, looks like they've lost interest, so I guess I'll go ahead and head somewhere else. Alright guys, and here is what looks like to be a mini beach. <laughs> it's got uh, sand and uh, water, so I mean, I guess you can call it that. There's a bunch of rocks too. There's also a sign that says caution, uh, something aguas profundas, probably means it's like super fast or super cold or dangerous or whatever. But yeah, this is a pretty nice view of the river. You can soak your toes in it if you want to. I'm not going to though, but I just thought it was interesting. All right guys, and this is the uh, final part of or like portion of this place is the bar uh, and what's interesting is that all these uh, tables are made out of wood and even the uh, seats are made out of like wooden logs which is really interesting they probably didn't want to have to uh, work on chairs or anything I mean they've got some plastic chairs if you're you know into that kind of stuff but I think the little wooden log chairs add a nice little nature-ish feel to it you know guys, during this trip we've done a whole lot of work. We've gone to Portobello, El Pache, a bunch of uh, dusty towns. We've also seen some really awesome views, but this is just a really nice day to relax. I thought this was a really good scene. 
We've got people sleeping in hammocks right over there, I don't know, playing with rope, some more people just chilling. We've got a couple people exploring, some people playing a game that I have no idea what it's called, and we've got some people playing volleyball. We've even got a nice little bar for people to relax. Honestly guys, this is great. After a really hard trip where we've just been testing, crunching data, now everything is done, everybody's relaxing, and I think this is just a great scene. All right guys, we're finally here at the waterfall and uh, it was no easy trip. We literally had to go through all of that and more just to get uh, to this waterfall, but... Um, it's, but, uh, but we're finally here. So let's see just how good this waterfall is. All right guys, so right now we've got to hike down all of these stairs and uh, while I'm not really tired up from just walking down the stairs, just think of how annoyingly difficult it's gonna be to come back up all of these stairs. That's gonna suck. And those, and that's, and those are the stairs that we already climbed down from and we're, we're still going, so. I really hope this doesn't take too long. I really don't wanna take these stairs back up. Guys, this literally feels like we're in the jungle because there's literally like a, a, a rope bridge or, I'm not sure, maybe this is made out of like steel rope or something, but it's still essentially a rope bridge and we just crossed it. This really feels like an adventure now. It looks like I'm kind of in the jungle and I'm like searching for treasure or something, some sort of Indiana Jones looking thing. Okay guys, so just in case that rope bridge didn't remind you of some sort of adventure movie, look at this puny ledge that we have to climb through just to get to the waterfall that's like right over there. This is pretty dangerous, so uh, you know, don't try this at home. Alright guys, here is the waterfall. It's extremely loud. This is a legitimate waterfall right here. Like this thing is like pouring down on pretty much everybody. I gotta say it looks really fun, but uh, I'm not gonna get in because I didn't bring a swimsuit, mostly because I really didn't want to lug that thing around. I mean, in a cramped car filled with a bunch of people, the last thing you want to be doing is carrying a book bag. And so I'm just gonna stay over here and record everybody. Uh, I've seen a couple of people go down the waterfall over here. Yeah, it looks like uh, we've got a couple of people just hanging out right here. They seem pretty relaxed. Man, from the screams, it looks like this water is pretty cold, so yeah, uh, it looks like a lot of fun, but it might be a hard trip back. How up? I don't know. It just looks pretty fun to me from up here. Alright guys, this is about as close to the waterfall as I want to get with this uh, extremely good camera right here. You can literally like feel the water just like spraying on you. I'm pretty sure there's at least some uh, like water vapor on the lens of my camera or like you know the protective lens that I have around it. Uh, I'm honestly not sure why I'm not just seeing a bunch of raindrops. I can't believe I'm getting this great of a view. And uh, here's a better view of where the uh, water just pulls off. And there it is. There's the entirety of the waterfall. I have to admit, this looks pretty cool, but I'm gonna get back up now because I don't want my camera to like get wet or like get destroyed. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back up. Uh, uh, it looks like everybody else wants to stay, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, journey back up these stairs that I really don't wanna do, cause man, do I freaking hate stairs. I'm gonna miss the waterfall though. It was a really stunning view. Uh, I'm hoping maybe I can, uh, I saw a nice little uh, restaurant, station, whatever place uh, a little ways back and oh man, I'm already tired from these stairs and I just started. I'll probably go over there, I don't know, maybe play some cards while everybody's out uh, doing whatever it is they're doing in the waterfall. That is, if I can climb up these stairs. Wow, you know, I climbed up that huge mess of stairs and that other waterfall, okay? So these stairs should be no problem. Oh, and there's the little rope bridge over here again. I already crossed the tight little cliff. Now I'm crossing a rope bridge. And now, more stairs. All right, I'll go ahead and stop narrating now. I guess I'll see you guys later. Okay.
All right, guys. So we're about to uh, leave the waterfall, and now we got to get through all of that mess up front with a little landslide and all that stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. All right, guys. So this is a good view of the landslide. I'm told it happened like about two months ago, and we are going to get around all of this stuff. <laughs> but still, at least the view's nice. Alright guys, this is a good picture of the landslide. See how the covered is, uh, see how the road is completely covered in dirt? That's what we had to go through and it was even worse back up there. Yeah, thanks a lot, Keegan. Yeah, see, it's completely covered in dirt. There's no way you can get around that. Alright guys, in case you can't hear me, that's the sound of a van. and even a fan in the next bus. This is a perfect way to end our trip in Zaruma. Man, I'm so glad I came here. Guys, I hope this turn will give you an idea of just how good of a driver these guys really are. Like, look at this. These buses are about to make this turn right here. Up the, they are driving down a mountain at night with music blaring and police sirens. Man, it doesn't get much better than this. Alright guys, if you didn't think loud music and police sirens and going up a mountain in a bus wasn't exciting enough, we are all now on top of that bus. We switched out with all of the other guys that were on top and now we've got pretty much the best view like ever if it wasn't dark and uh, foggy.